What's going on, smart people? Today was a pretty interesting day, and one of the things that made it pretty interesting was my quantum class. We basically finished quantum today. By that, I mean we finished just the material for undergraduate quantum. There's still plenty of new stuff out there that we haven't touched on. But what was interesting is, um, today's not the last day of classes, and my professor got to the end of the lecture and he said, well, that's pretty much it for the semester. Let's talk about something else. And we started learning about uh, a different representation of quantum mechanics. We started to learn about the Feynman path integral. And to be honest, I did not think that we would even come close to going over this in this class. It's still a very new concept to me. Uh, but basically, you have this formulation of quantum mechanics that's in terms of this thing called the propagator that you solve for. And essentially, it's completely equivalent to finding uh, a complete solution to the Schrodinger equation expressed in a different way. And you have this weird thing where you have limits and integrals and uh, almost infinite products, and I, I, I don't know. I don't get it. But yeah, that was pretty cool. So we're going to spend the next couple of lectures going over the path integral formulation of quantum mechanics, and then we'll probably start going over final exam review stuff. A quantum final is in two weeks. This semester just flew by. The thing that's even more pressing is the fact that I have to present my senior thesis in like five days. Yeah, no, exactly five days from now. That's terrifying. So really for the rest of the night, what I'm trying to do is get my tentative draft of the results part of my thesis written up and really try to internalize what everything means and how everything's connected. Then I'm going to present that to him tomorrow and he's going to tell me all of the mistakes that I'm making on it. Kind of lather, rinse, and repeat that until I have a thesis that I can send off to the committee members so that they can get a nice little briefing of it before I present. One of the people that I have on my committee for the thesis, because I have to defend my thesis to a few physicists, one of them was my mentor for my uh, research internship, and he is very uh, coding savvy, especially in Python, so I know that he's going to want to ask a bunch of questions about the algorithms that I've used, so I need to make sure that I completely understand my code from top to bottom. The other person on my committee also does a lot of computational physics, so I'm expecting when it comes time to defend the thesis to have a lot of numerical methods questions thrown my way, so I want to make sure that I can knock those out of the park. And I really want to use my advisor tomorrow to make sure that I understand the physics better. Because it's kind of easy, once you have the problem set up, it's easy to just think of it as a math problem and solve it, like write a code to solve it. Uh, and it's hard to remind yourself consistently that you're trying to like describe something physical. And that's always been a problem of mine, is, is tethering the math to the physics. So that's going to be a big goal of mine tomorrow. This is a really short video today because I, I need to focus on the thesis. I want to get as much written tonight and as much written tomorrow morning before my programming lab. Uh, so, so I just got to make that a priority. So I'm going to end the video here. But this semester has just absolutely flown by. Let me know in the comments section if you guys agree. And I'll see you guys there.